Now, when you were first coming in contact with these computers, inventing them, and before that working on the HP 9100, you know, we talked about writing programs. Mm -hmm. What sort of programs? What do people actually do with these? Mm. See, what we did with them, well, I'll give you a simple example. When we were uh, designing our blue box, we used, uh, we wrote a lot of custom programs to help us design it, you know, and to, to uh, do a lot of the, the dog work for us in terms of calculating master frequencies with subdivisors to get other frequencies and things like that. We, we used the computer quite a bit to calculate, you know, how, how much error we would get in the frequencies and how much could be tolerated. So we used them in our work, but, but much more importantly, it had nothing to do with using them for anything practical. It had to do with using them to be a mirror of your thought process, to actually learn how to think. Because I think the greatest value of learning how to, I think everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer, should learn a computer language, because it teaches you how to think. It's like going to law school. I don't think anybody should be a lawyer, but I think going to law school would actually be useful because it teaches you how to think in a certain way, in the same way that computer programming teaches you, in a slightly different way, how to think. And so I, I view computer science as a liberal art. It should be something that everybody you know, takes, a, takes a year in their life. One of the courses they take is you know, learning how to program.